Grabbing Your's blog, and welcome to my comic book discussion series. Today's topic is about Mar should Marvel start limiting the number of events they have in their comics? And I'm discussing this question because lately it seems that Marvel has been putting out more events than usual every few months or so, and it's starting to get to the point where fans are getting tired of hearing about another event come every few months or so. This wouldn't be an issue since us fans are always constantly looking forward to a new event that the comics give out, but Marvel has been putting out events a bit too quickly lately because once they start at one event, then they would move on to another event without giving the first event some kind of closure that would assure the readers that the first event is over and done with, and Marvel can just start making a completely different event afterwards. The best example of this is dealing with the current events that happen with the X-Men. Last year in 2011, the X-Men had just had an event called Schism, where the X-Men are split up between Team Cyclops and Team Wolverine. And from this event came a new series called Wolverine the X-Men and the reboot of Uncanny X-Men. Now, there is an upcoming event called Avengers vs. X-Men that's coming out in April of this year. And the problem with that is that there wasn't any real closure with Schism yet, since we don't know if the X-Men are going to permanently separate from each other or that this, this event will reunite them again. I think that Marvel put out the Avengers vs. X-Men event a bit too quickly, because both Uncanny X-Men and Wolverine the X-Men haven't even reached the 10th issue of their series yet, and there's already another event coming up for both series, and I felt that we weren't really exposed enough to the new team setup of the X-Men teams yet to get used to their methods of fighting threats. I personally think that Marvel should go back and have an event once a year, so that way it would give enough time for the stories from the last event to wrap up. Whenever there are events for the comics, there should be some issues that detail the aftermath of the event, and then more issues about the characters trying to get their lives back to normal after the last event. And then there should be another event, so that way we would be able to see closure with the last event instead of worrying over time about what became of the last event. Also, fans would start to look forward to seeing more events every year since it wouldn't be put out every few months or so. I know that Marvel is putting out more events every year because they are trying to make a profit and fans love buying comics if they know that a huge event is coming. But the thing about events is that they tend to change the course of the comics because whatever is happening in the event will change the characters and the world they live in. The problem with Marvel having so many events lately is that they cause the characters in the world they live in to change dramatically to the point of where we don't really recognize the characters anymore and that can have a negative effect on the stories they are involved in. Also, with so many events happening all at once, there isn't really enough time to develop the characters for a drastic change in the situation they are involved in. Such as in the X-Men before Schism, Schism came, the X-Men didn't really mention having any issues regarding the kids. But the moment that Schism came, it's like all of a sudden the X-Men wanted to break up with each other, despite the fact that they haven't really been fighting with each other other than the whole X-Force thing, and it came off as being a little too forced for where I stand. So what do you think? Do you think that Marvel should start limiting the number of events they have every few months, or are you fine with Marvel putting out events every few months or so? Feel free to tell me what you think in the comments below, and if there is a question you want me to answer about comics, whether it's about comics in general, or a particular comic like Spider-Man or Batman, feel free to ask that question in the comments below, and I will see if I can make a video about that. I'm Ravnia's Blog, and I'll see you later.